Many people canceled scheduled events for tonight, but some were able to dodge the storm. Before she went to the high water area you just saw her at live, Fox 4's Deanna Zoga stopped by some of those events that were able to be fit in tonight. Are you Dorothy? On Main Street in Irving. Oh my goodness. Snazzy umbrellas were among the last minute additions to some pretty cute costumes. Oh. Tell her your buzz lot year. The bus hot year. A little wind and rain. Very cold and wet. <laughs> there you go. Would not deter these kids. Are you kidding? And trick or treating. There you go. Hi. Was still on. They've been excited all day. It didn't matter if it rained, if it poured. It was like, that's okay. We're going anyway. I think a few people probably stayed in as a result of the rain, but that just meant more candy for us. It's just the smile on the children's faces when they get that bag of candy. It's worth it all. And there were more smiles to be had elsewhere, in spite of the gloomy weather. Dozens of people in the Lockwood neighborhood of East Dallas met on the lawn of one of their oldest residents. Happy birthday to you. To surprise Maddie Garretson on her birthday. I'm 100 years old. I made it. Yeah, the neighborhood just wanted to come and show you our support and how much we love you. Scott Paradise started planning the surprise two months ago, hoping 100 neighbors would come. Happy birthday, Maddie. And even in the driving rain, they did. And the weather didn't scare them away today. Well, that is what is unbelievable. God, I wish I dressed up a little more. <laughs> I couldn't be more thankful. I mean, you know, I, I fully expected half these people, if not more, to, to stay home, especially those with kids that are out here right now. Um, to have the kids in their rain slickers and umbrellas and galoshes out here to, to really kind of make this a multi-generational thing is, makes it even more special.